There we go. Hey everybody, welcome to the Texas Hidden Springs Ranch, where today we're gonna go behind the scenes. I'll share with you some strategies that we use to grow and to harvest some great big white-tailed deer. And then later on, I'm gonna have some friends down and they're gonna help us harvest some black buck antelope. Freedommunitions.com, your online ammunition destination presents The High Road with Keith Warren. First off, I'm grateful to be an American, to live in a country that still has country like this. This is wonderful. I love doing this kind of thing. I love it. Growing big deer is no accident. It's something that I've been committed to for a long, long time. And I supplemental feed with Record Rack. Anybody watch the show knows I do that. And I have been doing that for about 20 years now. And this right here is a little like a carport cover, a little cover to keep the feed dry. And I'm glad that I have it. And the reason why is because right now, We've got Hurricane Harvey. Hurricane Harvey is on the Texas coast, fixing to slam the Texas coast. We have been pretty dry this summer, and consequently, our ponds are down low. I'll show you how low in just a moment. But what I'm doing, this is a good time to show you exactly what I do. I mix, you'll take a look at this feed. It's a, this is a textured feed. And again, it's record rack. I mix the textured feed along with the reg regular pellets. And you'll notice it's got all kinds of good stuff in it. The deer absolutely love it, and they're fat as ticks eating it. And so what I wind up doing, the reason why I have this carport like this is to just prevent it from getting wet in the rain. This is a free choice feeder, 24 seven. They can come up here and, and eat. And when it's empty, I'll fill it back up. But for right now, we're gonna take off. I'm gonna show you how low the ponds are, so hopefully Hurricane Harvey gives us some water. As you can tell from looking at the pond, it's been quite some time since we had any measurable rainfall at all. Right now, it's close to the end of August, and we have a hurricane looming off the Texas coast that is guaranteed to slam us. Every rancher in South Texas has got their fingers crossed in hopes that this hurricane, Hurricane Harvey, is gonna dump some water to fill up our ponds. What we're doing now, we wanted to shoot a before and an after video to show you how low the ponds are now, and hopefully this hurricane is gonna fill them up. Ten days ago, I was standing right here and this pond behind me was a little bit low because we hadn't had any rain all summer long. And that was before Hurricane Harvey hit the Texas coast and just flooded everybody. Fortunately here, it filled up all of our ponds like this right here. And uh, we're actually poised to have the best deer hunting season ever. So just as I left the pond, I came across something that I'd never seen before. And it was a real bad situation. Bad situation here, folks. A bad situation. Folks, look at this. We got a buck. We got a great big dead buck right here on the ground. This other buck. There's no way I can get it alone. Come on, buddy. Thank you. 
Come on. There you go. Look. Look at that. Holy crap. Look at him. Hopefully that deer's gonna make it. Look at here. Look at here. He killed this buck. Look at this, folks. I came up, I found these guys. It's a big buck and too bad. Look at that. Unbelievable. Yeah, they're peaceful and all. This deer's been dead for, I guarantee he's been dead all day long. That other deer's been dragging him around. And you saw how much power he had. But that is one heck of a nice buck and it's just a doggone shame. Mother Nature, folks. Mother Nature. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Reconics, Walls Pro Series, Legendary Arms Works, Sightmark, and Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, 99%. The High Road will be right back. Now it's time for viewer feedback, brought to you by Protect the Harvest, Protect the Hunt. All right, M. Ledbetter sends this to me off our website, and y'all need to listen to this big time. I can't tolerate the ignorant in our society that supports the Second Amendment. Guns are the most dangerous things our country faces, and it's time they're banned for good. Well, M. Ledbetter, I don't think guns are the most dangerous thing that our society faces. I think stupid people are the most dangerous thing in our society. Guns give us freedom. Guns assure us liberty. Guns are nothing more than tools that help us do those things. And so I encourage you to get with some gun owners and you're gonna find that gun owners are some of the best American people there are. M. Ledbetter, I appreciate you sending me that little email, but to open up your eyes because it's people like us that when the proverbial you know what hits the fan, you're gonna be begging that somebody with a gun was there to take care of your butt. If you're watching online and you have any questions or comments, go ahead and post them below on this video. And if you're not watching online, you can go to our website 24 seven and watch all of our programs. M. Ledbetter, I hope you start watching. You may learn something. I've grown up here on the ranch and I always heard my dad talk about management, which I didn't fully understand until the last 10 years or so. And we're really starting to see things pick up with the deer here. Our ranch is what it is today because of my dad. He manages very well when he's not on the road. He's here working. He's on the tractor. He's filling feeders. He's setting up game cameras to see what we've got on the place. That's all part of managing. Whenever you come out to the ranch, we're selling you an experience. It's not just about the deer. It's the joy of the hunt. We want you to see the most deer you've ever seen, the prettiest deer you've ever seen, great racks from typical to non-typicals. You're going to get a great experience in the blind and out of the blind. The main purpose of this ranch is to grow the biggest whitetail possible, and it wasn't until a couple years ago that we really wanted something else on the place, something we could hunt year round. So that's why we got black buck. We haven't really hunted them, but now there are so many we have to manage them, and that's what we're here to do today. I'm really looking forward to this hunt for a couple of reasons. One, I get to spend time with my dad, which is always great. And two, I'm really excited to spend time with the Tillers. Taylor is an awesome little girl. She's growing up just like me. She's out in the wild, she's playing outside, she gets to go hunting, she loves to shoot, she's responsible. And that's how I grew up, so it's really nice to see other kids like that. The first thing Taylor and I did was mix up some Tannerite. Not some, but a lot. And I wanted to make sure Taylor was initiated into the Texas Hidden Springs Ranch by shooting some. We shoot Tannerite because it's fun, but more importantly, because it lets us know we're dead on. If you can hit a little target like that at 100 yards and hear that boom, you know you're good to go on a whitetail. A lot of people ask me, why do I always have guys shooting Tannerite at the ranch, and girls for that matter? Uh, the reason is simple. There's a lot of people that wind up showing up that uh, they can't shoot very well, and that's the truth. Uh, tannerite is small small targets and if you can hit a Tannerite target, you're telling me as a professional outfitter that you can shoot. And so what I wind up doing, I have every hunter out here shoot Tannerite and I have been doing that for years and years. It just gives me the confidence that the hunter knows how to shoot. Taylor and I mix up some Tannerite. We just set it up down there. We're gonna make sure our rifles are zeroed in. Have you ever shot Tannerite? A couple times. Yeah, you like it? I love it. Yeah, me too, it's fun. 
Can Ride is a lot of fun, but just like any other fun product, you have to follow the rules. Make sure you've got eyes, ears, and you're at 100 yards. You can put it on fire when you're ready. There you go. Boom! Good job! The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Pulsar, Timber Creek Outdoors, Legends Ranch, the Lucas Oil Outdoor Line, Record Rack Deer and Elk Feed, and FreedomMunitions.com, your online ammunition destination. The High Road will be right back. Now it's time for Gear Care, brought to you by the Lucas Oil Outdoor Line. If you're looking to clean your firearm, there's no better way to do it and clean it thoroughly with contact cleaner. This is by Lucas Oil Outdoor Line, and it's the Extreme Duty Contact Cleaner. Jerry's going to show you how well it works on this pistol. The one feature I really like about this contact cleaner is polymer safe. And probably 80% of handguns now sold in the United States have a polymer frame, so I'll show you something that works pretty trick. You can take this contact cleaner, you might want to put your glasses on. Yep, this this yep. stuff is high pressure. So what I like to do is just stand the frame up like this and take the cleaner and just blow it from the top. Look at that black coming off the box. Yeah, it gets that sear block. Now you notice it just came right off the can and it's just about all dry already. Mm -hmm. That's what I really like about it, how fast it dries. But you can also notice it strips completely all the lubricant out of there. Right. It's bare metal. And that's exactly what I want to do. I want to start from scratch. <laughs> Put a little CLP. Yep. I want to shoot. I don't want to play with guns. So <laughs> I'll just touch it with a little CLP like this. And I'm pretty much. Uh, You're good to go. I'm ready to put a slide on and go play. For more information on the Lucas Oil Outdoor Line, visit our website and join us on Facebook for more gear care tips. Now, as far as hunters go today, I've got my favorite hunting partner with me, Maddie. That's my little girl. And Maddie, uh, just being with Maddie is a lot of fun to me. And I don't care whether uh, we actually kill a black buck antelope or not. I just like being with Maddie. You'll also notice on top of the rifle, instead of just your typical rifle scope, it's got a Pulsar Digisite. Now, this is a digital night vision piece of equipment, and it's badass. This is my first time using the Pulsar Digisite on my rifle, and it does take some time to get used to. For this hunt, I'm using my dad's gun. It's a Nemo 223. It's set up with a Digisite, and it's different than Taylor's because mine has a suppressor on it. So it's a lot quieter, it's safer for our ears, and it's from Silencer Shop. They're an online shop, and I love it. They've got a lot of products. One of the great things about having a ranch that's managed this well is you don't have to pull the trigger right away. You can sit there, you can watch, take your time, make sure you have a safe shot. We had so many bucks in front of us. We had probably 10 or 15. I couldn't keep count because I couldn't stop watching them. They all kept doing cool stuff. Whitetail season is literally right around the corner and this is like a documentary. We're watching the deer come in. They're coming down to the water. They're wading in the water. They're licking themselves. They're rummaging around eating the acorns. It's incredible. That was a good shot. Just stay on her, stay on her. Good job. Good 
Joe. You got a black black and a girl. I still get nervous every time. You're supposed to get nervous every time. That's good. Perfect. That gun doesn't kick or no, make any noise. No, not at all. That's why I was like, okay, shit, that was a hit. Need to follow through shot. Wow. Good. Okay. Good, good, good. Black ducks are such dainty animals. When you hit them, you know you hit them. Well, they're not very big. That's no. Sure. They're just, they're very pretty. All right, go. Well, this is where. No, nope, she was right there. I see her right there. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's where I hit her. That's where the blood was going to start. Oh, yeah. Here she is. All right, let me take her off. It's a heart shot. Yep. Perfect. Oh, God, they're beautiful animals. They're not very big, but they are tasty, and they multiply like crazy. Yes. So this one was a good one to take out. Uh, we've got a lot of really good bucks out here, but uh, the deal is we don't uh, we don't have as many bucks as does. We want to have a really good buck to doe ratio, and so that's the reason why we want to get these does out of here. So, all right, baby, what do you think about that rifle? Sweet. I love this setup. It was amazing. The only thing it's missing is what? Timber Creek. <laughs> well, we'll get that fixed this weekend. Yes. All right. Let's get it loaded up. We'll get out of here. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by AirVenturi.com Liberty Safe Shadow Hunter Blinds Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center 99% and Tannerite Brand Binary Rifle Targets The High Road will be right back. My name is Tyler Tiller, I'm with Timber Creek Outdoors, and at Timber Creek we manufacture gun accessories. We're located in Springfield, Oregon, and we're family owned and operated. The majority of our gun accessories are for MSRs, that is a modern sporting rifle. Taylor's going to be hunting black buck, and so is Maddie. I got an opportunity to hunt with Maddie a few months back when her and Keith came up to Oregon to visit our facility and hunt coyotes and rabbits. Now coming into this, I had never seen a black buck before. I've seen deer, I've seen antelope, but man, these black buck are tiny. They are very, very small animals. Taylor and I will be sitting in a blind overlooking a clearing that has some oak trees out there. This time of year, acorns are falling out of these oak trees, and there were whitetail everywhere eating the acorns out in this clearing. And it really kept us entertained in the blind watching all these big bucks walking around and feeding on the acorns. These whitetail are gorgeous animals. They have huge racks, and man, I wish it was whitetail season here in Texas. We were sitting in the blind, and we had several whitetail coming in, but we hadn't seen any black buck yet. And we were sitting there visiting, quietly, whispering, trying to keep Taylor entertained. And out of nowhere, here came a black buck doe. As it came in, she took a little while trying to get on it. And she got very excited. She said, Dad, my heart's beating really fast. She was breathing heavy, and we just had to calm her down and get a great shot opportunity. And when that black buck turned broadside, she smoked him. Man, Taylor and I had a blast. It was so much fun being out here with her and Maddie and Keith and just seeing her smile on her face all day long as she was out here hunting, looking at the animals, chasing crickets and frogs. It, it was just really special to us. Part of being a responsible hunter is respecting the animal throughout the entire process. None of this meat will go to waste. It will all get used.
know, being out here with my daughter really makes me proud. It makes me think back to when I was a kid hunting with my dad, and it just really stirs up a lot of emotions of all the great experiences I had with my dad and all the great experiences that I have to come with Taylor. Great, sir. Uh, yeah, Perfect. I don't know about you, but I look back at my life and I think uh, there were people that helped shape my life, helped turn me into who I am today. And I'm grateful for those people. And I think as the older you get, the more you realize that you're helping shape other people's lives too, be it good or be it bad. And so as we help new people come into the hunting and shooting sports, I think we're helping shape their lives. And we want to shape their life with uh, responsibility and respect and, and patriotism and love, love of country, love of your family and love of God. And I think the, the most important thing for us to do is uh, the way I spell love, I spell love T-I-M-E. And when you spend T-I-M-E with people, you're giving them love. And we spent T-I-M-E with Maddie and with Taylor and with Tyler. And so on today's show, we appreciate you spending T-I-M-E with us too. If you have any questions or comments about the show, go ahead and post them below if you're watching online. If you're not watching online, you can go to my website, highroadhunting.com, where you can watch all of our programs 24-7. My name is Keith Warren, and you've been watching The High Road, and I hope to see you next week. Thanks for watching.